All right, everybody, welcome back to the Coop Troop. Thank God. We're done with the Spooptober. <laughs> we're done with the Spooptober, and we're back to Bayonetta, like I promised. Yes. We, we played Spooky Jump Scare Mansion for seven episodes, and we didn't care for it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back to a game that we like. At the very spookiest, I just went, huh? Yeah. Or, ah. Oh. <laughs> that that almost like kind of like scared me for the briefest of seconds. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I could see how that would, yeah. Like, but. a lot of the monsters in this game are like way more hardcore. Yeah. Like, this game did, does a good job with hardcore monsters, as you're about to see. Even though it's an angel we're about to see. Jeez. Yeah, that's an angel, folks. <laughs> that sounded like Trump. <laughs> that's an angel, folks. <laughs> see, I'm friends with lots of angels. They're good people. What kind of angel is this? It's just like one of the head ones. He's, he's, he's like trying to get this boy. Does it have a name? Um, I think so. I don't remember. What, I think we'll find out in the boss fight. Okay. Oh, I thought I was hoping that was now. Well, it, it is, but I don't know if it's the official one. Okay. Actually, we fight a few of these. I don't remember if they do. I think they might have already told us the name of this. Maybe we just don't remember. Probably. Oh. It's um. Uh, the, um, X to hit, like, your special, the one you're holding, or Y, I mean. Okay. The fists. Oh, yeah, the things I picked up. Right. And then if you hit minus, you can use your lollipops if you need to heal or something. The lollipop, yeah. That's right. And, and uh, this thing only attacks, like, middle, I think. Okay. So if you can dodge left or right. Never mind, it's got that one, too. I'm actually, I'm doing my playthrough um, of my playing through this on hard. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been doing that occasionally in between, between recording sessions, so I'm just a little bit ahead of where How's you are. How's it going? Pretty good so far. Yeah. I die, uh, like, a little bit more than I did, but I, I barely, I didn't That's good, though. I didn't die that much at all in Bayonetta 2, so I think it's the right difficulty. Yeah. So I think you should die occasionally. Oh, yeah. For sure. Especially if you up the difficulty. Right. Like, if you're not dying every once in a while, you too easy. But yeah, this this game did a much better job of balancing the difficulties because I played through the first one on normal and it was hard. Yeah. Really hard. Like not impossible where I gave up, but like it was frustrating sometimes. So you don't forget to, to try to like nail down. Combos are all based on like uh, X and um, B or X and A and E. Okay. Like the two right buttons. How do I use it? L1. Oh yeah, that's right. I was doing the left trigger. Ah, oh, shoot. But you still have it, I think, right now. Oh, no, you don't. Use right a lollipop. Now. All right. Uh, lollipop. Hit R1. Lollipop. Hit R1. Um, so you have two already. You can also make some. I can. We already did that, I think. So that's why we have these. That herb green, green is what heals you. Red does you more damage. And then yellow turns you invincible for a while. I don't need that. Maybe I do. <laughs> I don't need that. I can hit that, immediately. I like to use them a lot on boss fights just because... Um, Especially the yellow, because then you can just stand still and just wail. But it, it's it's nice to combine those with um with like your uh, magic when it comes up, like your Umbrin climax. Because if you can use a damage boost and the Umbrin climax, you will just fuck them up. Yeah. So that's like a strat if you're struggling with a boss. Yeah, or just to like to get it down in health really fast, like just to get a really good start on it. But this guy's almost dead. Yeah. I got this. I got. This. I sound like a character. <laughs> I got this. After the after the, uh, this boss, we'll be doing the the climb to the gates of heaven. It looks badass. Awesome. Yep. The par Paradiso, as it's called in this. Yeah. The, the Dante's Inferno name. Yeah, they kind of stick with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, this game like has a lot of like I, we've talked about. It. it has a lot of like Norse names, but it's all based on like okay, what I got about Dante now? stuff. Nothing. Okay. No, you will. You, you always do it at some point. Oh my god, it's hard to do it with the Joy-Con. <laughs> <laughs> I was like smashing my hand. I was like, ah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're playing with the separate Joy-Cons today. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's, I sometimes play that way when I'm playing like the, my Switch like in bed or something. Like I'll have, I have that like mounted thing. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know. It's more relaxing, right? It's like freeing. You can just kind of put your hands wherever. And in, in a game like um, Mario Odyssey, they had controls just based on the, like having separate Joy Cons, mm -hmm. where like you'd like use them like like you're running run and shit like that. Yeah. Do you use them to punch? Uh, you do in Arms. Huh. They have like a fighting game on uh, Switch called Arms, where like you use those to punch like Rock'em Sock'em robots, kind of. This chipmunk guy. I know. Come on, love. I'm a chipmunk. 
If we're going to have to meet I'm a British chipmunk. <laughs> I'm a chippy. Take care of yourself. My name's Loki. Okie dokie. I throw cards. He's like Gambit. <laughs> yeah. My name's Loki. I throw cards and I'm a chipmunk. <laughs> like, there's too much going on with that character. Yup. No. <laughs> she couldn't have just grabbed it. No, she had to turn into a panther and grab him. <laughs> that face. Oh, he's going in the cleavage. Of course. Where else would you put it? Oh, yeah, never mind. Don't one. answer that. <laughs> yeah, I do not. <laughs> we do. Don't answer There's that. a lot of good answers for that, though. <laughs> there is, but I just don't. <laughs> like, why did I say that? I like this guy with the, the sparkly triangle suit. <laughs> he's He's got fashion, that's for sure. He does. Nautun, the city of Genesis. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze. Not that bad, I guess. I sneezed. I got a half sneeze. I got, I'm still good for one more. That almost sounded like you said, Natu. <laughs> Natu. Natu, the city of jazz. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> so, tell me I don't have to see Chippy again? No, Chippy's in the whole game. Fuck. Yeah, no, you're not done with Chippy. Wait, this whole game's going to be the squeakle part, too. I mean, <laughs> he's in my tits. No, you're going backwards. That's what you're on. Okay. It always puts you on the right one. Okay. Once what after uh, once who's, we get who's flipping the cards? Uh, good question. Bayonetta, I guess. All right. We have to assume. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool little combo. Yeah, you can practice your moves here. Ooh. I'm a butterfly. Someone have a gun? No, oh, it's this douche. Have we met him yet? No. Oh, he, yeah. This guy isn't one of those like nonsense. Is characters. that McCree? He means nothing. So, to, he just shows up all the time. Bad. Even he was in the first game too, and he just constantly shows up and just talks. He literally like means nothing to the story and has no relevance. He's just like her love interest, I guess. Uh. Because they always like flirt with each other. But he's like a. Dance. Are there any sex scenes in this game? Like uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> like like God of War, you yeah. Mean? Like Aphrodite? No, there's not. <laughs> yeah, I need full penetration in my games to keep my interest. But you do get he's that. He's like Spider Man? What the hell? You get that lower hip grab, though. Oh, uh, no, no, he's like a dead splat. No, he never saves anyone. He just sucks. What's his name? I couldn't even tell you. Oh, Dumbo. She, she calls him, like, Cheshire throughout the first one, like her Cheshire cat. But, like, that's. That, I think that's the extent of it. They have they have like a backstory in the first one where he's like, "You killed my dad, Bayonetta." <laughs> like, it mean, like, did they give up on it? Like halfway? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> before that, like the first level, they're done with that plot. You killed my dad, but I'm gonna stop caring. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta butt. <laughs> you killed my dad, and I was mad until but, but, I saw that. But butt. really, he was a dick. So who cares? Look at that butt. <laughs> oh, Luca, that's his name. Okay. Are you Bayonetta? He is a. No matter where I am, you always know how to make an entrance. Nice glasses. Yeah, those glasses oh, let him like see the the ghosts and the demons and stuff. Oh, okay. Exactly. That was in the first game. That's, that's why Bayonetta wears those glasses. <laughs> and don't get it twisted, Bayonetta. She got. She, she got it's just this game. Yeah. Like they, they like, they fucking explain like some of the most detailed well, shit and then they like just blow stuff wide open and don't explain oh, anything. Oh yeah. Like like they just pick and choose. They oh, yeah. cherry pick what to explain. Yep. Well it's like the the plot of the game has no explanation, but yeah. like, the lore is detailed as hell. Like I don't know why he's in the game or his name or whatever, you know, but you know why his glasses Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like why is that necessary? Exactly. Who is this guy? Well, in the first game, like, you're you're escorting around, like, this little kid who ends up being Bayonetta, like, from the past. Oh. And, like, she's like, put on my glasses, then you'll see them. Yeah. And then, like, so that that's where li little Bayonetta gets her glasses, is from old Bayonetta. <laughs> so it's one of those time paradox things. And, like, yeah, the plot with, like, the eyes of the world and, like, the levels of, like, Paradiso and Inferno and stuff, that's all pretty detailed, like, the... The cosmology of it, mm -hmm. but like, yeah, <laughs> but, but then just if you, some of the cho character choices. If you ask the creator, like, uh, so, like, what Luca? Like, describe him. Like, uh, he's got a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> um, he likes ropes. Yeah. I I think. 
<laughs> or like, why did you choose a chipmunk? What relevance does that have to anything for that character? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, he, I don't have an answer. He likes nuts. Gates of hell. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Listen. I heard about John. From who? Who told you about John? What the Chippy? Like, was, it, was it on the news? Local witch goes to hell today. <laughs> You're a lucky little fella, huh? Never took you for an animal lover, Bayonetta. What can I say? I took a liking to one Where else would you put it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh. Tour guide, huh? the, 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 that, that guy's like, oh shit. All right. Let me see what I can find out to help you. Oh, yeah, okay, you're gonna be real helpful. Just go do something and get out of my way. Right. Don't you worry about my nose. I can I'm gonna go try and do something and fail miserably. Because <laughs> that's who I am. And how has he not mastered that? That. The that's grapple. what I'm. Like, yeah. He's been doing that for how long and he still yeah. doesn't do it properly? It's like really the only thing you can do. It's his thing. Yeah. And it's like, he fucking sucks. You don't now. bring a lot to the table. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I thought I was, like, gonna die if I went in the water. No, Bayonetta can swim. She put on her swimming suit? She can even turn into, like, a, a water snake eventually. Huh. Can I ride this boat? Or is that no. not what I'm supposed to do? No. Okay. What, are you gonna give tours of downtown Venice? Might as well, while I'm here. Ooh, you the secret. Nice work. Thanks. Hit right trigger twice, like Panther mode. Oh, okay. Doesn't do anything yet? Okay. You think you have to unlock it? What is this? That's switching your weapons. To blue pistols you, you or have blue the same, pistols? You, have, you don't have it. You haven't bought any weapons yet. Oh, okay. Or you haven't unlocked them yet. Eventually, you'll Did get I the get swords. Did whatever was here already? I must have. Or you might have the swords just because it's my playthrough. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Probably, oh, probably not. This way. Yeah. How do I turn into the Panther? There it is. I don't, you can't underwater. Oh, okay. Kitties don't like water. They don't. Oh, nice. You found a heart, though. Those are really good. That's how. You, that that's the thing that increases your max health. That's how it works in real life, too. Yes. Yeah, so you just gotta find a bunch of hearts. Yep. Four of them exactly. Harvest them. Cook them into a pie. <laughs> heart Ser pie. Yep. Serves uh, four to five, and it'll increase all of your livelihoods. By what? Like a couple months? It, it's it's different with each person. All right. For me, it was infinite. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> what kind of heart did you eat? Oh, uh, the heart of. I think uh, I did that one already. It, it, it was uh, it was my own heart. I ate my own heart, Josh. Uh, yeah. I don't buy it. <laughs> it did. How do I turn on a panther again? Right trigger twice. Right trigger. Oh yeah. Oh, is this a new? Oh, it is nice. What the fuck? Yes. And rupture. Is that a holy trait? Doesn't really seem Whoa. like it. That thing is ungodly looking. Is Enrapture supposed to be like a good trait or something? Usually they're like compassion or hope. Yeah, Rapture is like, I don't even know. Enrapture seems like you're, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Kind of seems negative. Nice, that was a good combo. Because some of them are meant to punch people off the stage too. Oh, I forgot I can pick up their shit. Or is it just this guy's thing I can pick up? It's it just a, uh, don't grab the bows. The bows are bad. Yeah. At least in my opinion. I mean, you could try it if you want, but I did not like the bow. Are these like mini bosses? Um, yeah. Anytime it shows you a new enemy, it's like a mini boss. But then, it, but once you go through, like mm -hmm. it'll start to become a normal enemy. Oh, a I thought he was dead. Pose for the picture. Like I, I don't even, I don't think I'd call that a mini boss. It's just like a new enemy. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a tougher version of an enemy. It's like a brute. Yep. That makes sense. Rare. Slow down, will you? <laughs> I know. Every game needs like a little kid escort. So why did you choose a chipmunk for this character? Uh, I don't know. Okay, um, <laughs> let's go with another question. Why did you choose to have him throw cards? Uh, okay, I like Gambit. <laughs> okay, well, at least you got a reason for that one. Oh, I think we're going to see his power here, though. It should be cool. Is it not turning into a chipmunk? <laughs> That's kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was his power. Chipmunk boy. Chippy. Well, there is a squirrel girl, so. In this? No, in Marvel. I mean. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, you could marry Chip. You could marry Squirrelgar. Squirrelgar. <laughs> Squirrelgar. Squirrelgar. Oh, you have to swear we learn his power. Dodge. Uh, you're trying to make it go slow motion. Oh, okay. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Obviously. Dodge. Yep. Now run. Panther mode. Panther, Panther, Panther. Oh. Panther mode. Oh, the Joy-Con. Do Panther mode, Josh. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. The Joy-Con. I like smashed, double hit it, and then like the controller like slipped in my hand. <laughs> and the joystick like made me look up. I'm like, oh shit. Look at that walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you to unlock the sword next next time. If you see a gate to to hell, just go see Rodan do it because I think you'll get the swords. Okay. Yeah, I've got to have an offer of whatever it is. No, I got nothing to say. Love. The remembrance. The remembrance. Yeah, the remembrance of time is what she uses to like slow down time. He has like a mastery of it, so he can do it whenever he wants. Him? The yeah, the kid. Oh. I've got a party and I've no intention. Whereas you, you use that little locket to like do it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, if you can get that bird, you probably have to be pan uh, you scared of the way. I was trying to shoot it. <laughs> no, you have to if you're you have to go up and grab him. Oh really? Yeah. So a lot of times you have to be panther mode and like pounce on him. Oh, okay. Pounce? That's right, my kitty. Aww. My little shitty kitty. Yeah, Luke's got his cat here now. Did you see her? When no. You came in? No. Yeah, the key Lala. Probably hiding. Yeah, we don't let her in the studio. That'd be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like crawling on us. Yeah. Well, we have a cat on Mike. See you, bitch. No. I love the torture moves. That one's. I struggle with that one the most. I wish you could like waterboard him. <laughs> drip, drip. Yeah, that would be fun. It would be so fun. It wouldn't slow down the pace of the game at all. <laughs> Bayonetta, why don't you just kill him? Cause this is I, I'm I gotta play loud Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> you can ride some of these too as a finishing move. It's hilarious. You'll like give him a little spanking. Got it. Yep, you, you can get a lot of coins doing that too, which is what we're gonna need. You mean Sonic rings? Yeah, more Sonic rings. Ooh, give me the hammer. You'll it's pick it up after this. Hammer time. Oh yeah, Smash Bros. What's his problem? I might play Bayonetta more in Smash Bros. now after playing these. Because I usually only like to play the characters I'm familiar with. Like mm -hmm. who I've played, I've played their games. So uh, that'll be an interesting one to try next time. I wonder if this is a loading screen. Or less. I mean, maybe. There's a lot of cutscenes in these two, though. To load. Yeah, possibly. Go up. Tell me I'm going up. Oh, nice. That's a weapon. Remember those uh, those LPs give us weapons, so grab that and then go in the red portal. Or w oh, I want to pick up that, but... Wait, no, 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 don't go up there yet. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest, too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Bunch of stuff to grabby grab. And then we'll go get our swords and we'll call it an app. Mm-hmm. The, um, the swords were down. The Down stairs. to the right. Yeah, by the door. Go Panther. Oh, a lot of stuff. Glad I didn't just go up. I think I did in my first playthrough because oh, I don't remember pop. any of this. Like, I'm sure I grabbed the CD, but... Yeah. Angelic Hymns, LP. Oh, but sure. It was a chest you missed. Oh. I was distracted by her chest. That's right. You gotta open all the chests. <laughs> Is there a squirrel in this chest, too? Oh, this one spawned enemies. Oh, great. Oh, you're worth it, though. <laughs> I get more rings, too, I guess. Well, yeah, and you'll score better on the level, too. Because the game will know when you skip fights. Uh, and it'll, it'll downgrade you for it. You can run past some of these fights, too. But, like, they'll, they'll downgrade you. Oh, goodness gracious. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Lollipop time. You're gonna eat that lollipop you just grabbed? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The one you grabbed was the mega. Is that gonna fill me all the way up? Uh, almost. Yeah, why not? Might as well. Dodge. That was cool. I like turned into bats to dodge. Or yep. Something. Yeah, that's an ability you unlock in the first game. 
That's the um, the bat uh, the bat within. We unlocked that like right away. Remember? I told you to buy that immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that's the one that lets you dodge after you. I can hit. ride him. This. Is the yep, thing you're yep. About. Give him the smacks. Turn around. Give him the smackity smacks. I want to smack the shit off. <laughs> Woo! Like goddamn it, Bill. Boom. Bill, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Climax. He's like, wait. Bam. Now who's got the hammer? Kisses. There you go. All right, now we can go upstairs. All right. Not bad, not bad. Oh, wait, go in there first. So we can get our swords. That's, oh, why, here. We, that's why we did this all, yeah? We can finally get oh. the swords. Okay. <laughs> Where do that? Let's just show it off. You got it first. I mean, you got to show the hammer. Yeah. Bam! Another LP. No rest for the wicked. Even if now I he's gonna turn that demon into a fucking but a gun. Don't need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Be right back. He always comes back this like covered in blood. Fun. He's like, whoa, that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> that one was Looking hard to rest. Work out like this for a while. Ta ta. Can you explain why you guys use like? Demons as weapons. <laughs> Can you explain why angels turn into CDs with music? Yeah. You know how they say life's a bitch? Try being dead for a couple millennia. Makes a demon cranky as shit. <laughs> don't think this demon will be complaining anymore. Nope, because you turned him into a gun. Ooh, I don't have that one. Kafka? Yeah, I must have skipped that one completely. Hmm. I don't have that one. Hmm. Interesting. Go to weapons. Oh, so you do have the swords now. Okay. Okay. Where's where's Kafka? I uh, go down. I I think it was a, in uh, an artifact that that he allowed you to unlock. You, those cost a hundred thousand at least. Okay. What are Rodan's we? treasures? I think it might have been. Yep, it was Kafka. Oh, so it's a uh, costume. That's what it is. Oh. Can I, I wear it? Uh, if you unlock it, yeah. Uh -oh. I like the the Rakasha costume. It's like a it's like a kimono. Leave the gates of hell. I would save up for the feet swords though. Yeah, the heel swords. Yeah, because you uh, when you when you buy the weapons on there, it'll give it. Put it on your feet. Put it on your feet. Put it on your feet. Put and it on your feet. Put it on your feet and in your eyeballs. Next time on Bayonetta, join us next time. <laughs> in your eyeballs. Put it in your eyeballs. Oh God. Ah!